Hey guys, what's happening? So, up at the cabin, got some snow about a week ago. So, this is gonna be part two of the uh, doomsday shed built out. So, the last time, if you saw the first part of the video, I didn't have that deck there. I built that deck in spring. So, I've had this cabin for a couple of years and I ran it out when I'm not here. Um, except it's shut down right now because of COVID. And it's kind of a nightmare because this is peak season. And uh, we're losing thousands of dollars a month. Um, yeah, peak ski, yeah, it's a ski resort, so. Uh, so last time I was up here, I built this little room in here. Um, like this actually used to exist. Here a video. Put that on. Well, you can't see it there. It ran power and data up out of the concrete. That was actually a total nightmare. But yeah, I had to run it under the concrete here, and it goes up around the box over here. So this is actually the power, which then feeds the new the shed, because the shed never had power. And then this is going to be data that runs over to my data closet over there. Right. Yeah, I built that back in the spring. Alright, so this is actually where I'm building the supposedly... <laughs> A doomsday shelter. And actually, it's going to be more of a game room. But I got a drywall and stuff. So the lady we bought this house from, she built a this shed. I made a video about it, but yeah, I got to clean it all up in here. I've, this actually used to be my storage area. And I should I moved over on the other side of this. But uh, so I'm going to drywall it. I already have some electrical. That's where it comes through on the other side. Power. And that feeds. I put in here the flood that side that goes down and feeds the deck but yeah I wanted to ship lap it on the top drywall on the bottom I gotta move these out so originally she had storage up here so I'm gonna move those rafters up up there and then so eventually this was gonna be like a, like a radio room like a ham radio room so ham radio uh, game room with the TV in here I have a dartboard, maybe a foosball table. I'll be a couch in here, that couch will be in here, maybe chairs. But yeah, I'm gonna have like a little radio rack up here. Um, yeah, I do a lot of off-roading up here. So it'd be nice to have like a CB and like like a ham radio, like a uh, two meter and 40, whatever I said, multi-center, because a lot of people actually use GMRS up here. Uh, some people use CB still, but it'd be nice to actually listen to the off-roader guys up in the mountains while they're off-roading. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of work to do in here. I gotta put a light switch in here, or overhead light, or something. Overhead light in here yet, so. All right. All right, so if you guys have ever seen the inside of the cabin before. So one of the things I wanted to do was recreate the chip lap on the ceiling in that shed. So the same concept with the drywall going up to the chip lap. So yeah, I'm done for this weekend, but let me show you the shed real fast. Yeah, if you've never been in here before, it's a little... This is actually what I built last time I was up here. Or actually about a year ago. Built this little room up here. It used to be like a total disaster. So, same thing with the shiplap. So the theme is like uh, drywall and shiplap. Alright. Alright, so here it is. I'm done for this weekend. So I brought those rafters up. The ceiling joists up to the top there. So what's going to happen is... It's going to be drywall going up to about right there, and then it's going to be shiplap going up to the ceiling and shiplap here, so... Uh, get down on the electrical. I'm totally out of breath here. Put a temporary light in there for now. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do double can lights, or if I'm going to do like a, like a fan, like a ceiling fan, for the summertime. But, uh, yeah, I still got to run the data. Gonna, I, I was doing other stuff in the house, so that's where the data's coming out, but... Going to be running a uh, Cat 6A, and this Cat 6A can do about uh, 10 gig, so I have a bunch of this stuff left over from my job. But uh, yeah, it's going to probably come out here. I'm going to run two of them, so one for the TV, and then also one possibly for like, the game console. Um, I mean, even though you could do all this wireless, but I mean, if you can do direct wire, direct wire is way better than wireless. So, hard wire. Alright, got the electrical in. I might or might not put an electrical outlet going this way. That's one of the issues with this house is there was no outside outlets. 
So I've been putting those in, you know, like right here on this side. That goes out, that faces the deck. So that way I can have power for the deck. And then last time I was up here, I put uh, switches and a floodlight that goes up there to it. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait to see this thing done. You know, it's gonna be like the game room slash, um, like I'm gonna have darts in here, foosball table, possibly maybe ping pong you can pull out. Maybe a card poker table, craps table, you never know. A couple ham radios up here. I'll put some antennas on the roof so I can listen to the off-roaders, the uh, 4x4 guys. All right, guys, cool. I'll be back up here in about a week or two.